so now I'm going to talk about the first layer in my journal. Actually, the first layer is paint, and I already talked about that. The second layer would be collage. And so your pages are going to look like this. Um, since I have some pages here, I'm going to work in this journal. So the first thing I want you to do is just start taking pieces of collage and making borders. So pick up something, cut it maybe a little less than an inch wide, or it can be smaller, and then start placing it around on the pages. Do I like it there? No. Do I like it there? Yeah, sort of. Um, I kind of like it on this page. So without thinking about it any further, I'm going to slap it down. And I'm using a Tombow Mono Adhesive Permanent um, Double Stick Tape type thing. So I'm going to just throw that down without thinking. This, this is a piece of wrapping paper. This is a piece of wrapping paper. So I'm going to cut a strip of this. Let's see where I want to put this. So maybe I want this to be over here. Usually I don't, I don't have such long strips of something, so I'm just going to trim it for now. And on this one, probably don't need two strips of double stick tape. I just need one. I never put the double stick tape all the way out to the edge. So I'm going to keep going in that vein. Uh, here's, I want to talk about where my collage comes from. This is just a bad color copy of an old journal page. And I love doing that, and I'll just recut it things out that have already been worked on, and I'll use them again. So one strip of tape doesn't go all the way out to the edge, and where do I like it? I like it right there. Here's another old color copy. I might just, it's a house, but maybe this time I'm not keeping it like that. I'm just going to go like that. I'm actually, before I even know it's going to work on any page, I'm going, I'm just putting this stuff on. And that seems like a good spot. I don't worry about getting it right next to the edge. So, let's see here. Your goal is to make a border all the way around. Oh, one other thing I wanted to show you. So you can take a, let's take something from a magazine that we like the colors on. Like for instance, this. This is from a graphic arts, um, kind of like an annual. And I really like the colors on here um, relating to these pages. You can see I've already thrown some stuff down before. So on something like this where you don't really want these images, but you like the colors, you just make strips like so. And you can tell I'm not worrying about making the strips exactly straight. So now I'm going to figure out where I want them. Throw some tape on. I would highly recommend not taping on your journal, especially if you're just getting started because you're going to go off the edge and then you're going to just get tape in your journal that you don't want. So it's... I'm just going to trim it off there, but I'm not going to let this go to waste. I'm just going to throw it somewhere. That seems like a good spot. So I don't want to outline my entire page with the same things, but since these are here, I'm going to go ahead and use them. That's too much of a continuation, so I might just throw that right over here. So anyways, you can take any sort of cheesy ad. Here's, here's an ad that... Um, I don't know what kind of magazine this was out of, but I love this stuff. So I know that it's, it's not going straight, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to just cut, cut a piece of that and throw that in here too. Usually what I use for my borders are basically the trims from other stuff that I do in my journal. So I usually have a, have some scraps laying around on my desk from other things. I do sell these sheets on my website, teachandwear.com, and I've basically just taken a 
copies of my old journal pages and I've cut them in strips for you already. So this is kind of a no-brainer. But I kind of wanted you to see how to do it from any magazine type page. I really want you to see the process. So if I have to do this part, it's several videos I'm going to. Um, I really like this shot of pink down here. So I'm just throwing that down there. And this piece that's already taped up, I'm sure there's a place for it somewhere. So I might throw it right there. So this is how you can start breaking up your long pieces that you've already put in your journal. So I'm going to stop the tape. I'm going to get some pages done with all of the borders and then we're going to talk about what you put in the middle.